Hello again there, G.I. Uh, Joe Pursuit of Cobra fans and collectors. This is a G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra action figure review. And this time around, I am reviewing the Pursuit of Cobra low light night spotter figure. Alrighty, so um, this is a, uh, probably the G.I. Joe figure of the year, in my opinion. And there's a lot of them to come out because it's only uh, the end of February here. But um, I just know that when I saw uh, photos of this guy at last year's Toy Fair that um, he was going to be my absolute uh, favorite figure from the year as far as G.I. Joe goes. So I want to get into him and um, let you know what's so cool about him. So hold on one second here. And this here is the vintage 1985 Real American Hero, Hero low light figure and this is my vintage figure he's 99% complete all I'm missing is the bipod from his rifle which uh, you know was very easily lost and um, goes for quite a bit itself on eBay if you just buy it, try find someone who's actually selling just the bipod uh, you know, it's probably cheaper just to buy the whole figure. But I want to show with this shot here how Hasbro kept true to the design of low light. And fans have been asking for a new low light figure for several years. And he's a very popular character. And I just think that they have done an incredible job. Not just sticking to the design of the real, real American hero figure, but updating and improving on it so much. So what, let's talk about uh, what low light comes with here. He comes with a lot of stuff. Obviously he comes with a um, deconstructible sniper rifle and right now I've got him posed in a scene where he's snapping on the scope. This um, stock here is movable and it's pretty much my one gripe with this figure because it's hard for low light to hold his rifle and sight it up without that thing popping out of out of joint. Um, so that's my one gripe on that. Over here I have some of his accessories. Uh, we have a spotter scope with the red red light scope on the front of it. Very cool. Essential for any sniper. We've got a little Uzi to take care of any little problems that come his way while he's setting up his blind and his hide and trying to get ready for a possible shot. This is a bipod for his sniper rifle. He's got a silencer here that snaps right onto the end and I'll actually show you how that works. Now I want to say that I, I believe that Hasbro is taking a lot of ideas from uh, a company called Marauder Zinc who makes custom um, three and three quarter inch or one to eighteen scale weapons and they have been for a number of years now making these sets that you can buy where you can build a custom weapon based on a series of accessories that kind of snap in in a modular way like these uh, accessories do here on uh, low light the way that the peg on the bottom of the scope here snaps into those two little holes. There's actually two holes. You just can't see it on low light because he's um, covering it up with his hand there. And also the way that the silencer snaps onto the end of the barrel and actually kind of slides down a little bit farther there. And also, obviously, Hasbro's been doing the bipod thing for many, many years. My, my vintage low light there had a bipod. All right. So, let me move him out of the way and get to the rest of these accessories here. Alright, um, so he comes with this rifle case, and yes, the rifle does fit in there, and the scope does fit in there. I wish they would have instead made a spot for the silencer, because Low Light actually has a little track here on his side, which the vintage figure came with all those years ago but this one wasn't a working slide and this one now is so it would have made more sense for them actually to put a slot in there for the silencer probably I'm thinking though it wouldn't have worked because the silencer is rather thick and they maybe would not be able to have space for it in there 
Alright, moving along, what else he comes with? He comes with a GPS tool, which is cool, very cool. Satellite link, phone. Now, this thing does come apart. Um, it's got a antenna here, which you're going to need to be very careful with if you get it, because it's very small. It's like a little pin, basically, and it just kind of sits in here with a little peg, and it does... Um, it does come out easily, so you have to be careful with that. Um, the phone handset does come off with a little peg right there, which is pretty amazing. And there's actually some detail on the control panel on the top. Then you notice there's another peg on the back here, and that peg can go right into this little hole here on the side of Lowlight's backpack so that he doesn't have to hold it and he can focus on taking care of any enemies that come his way with an Uzi. Alright, and then the last thing he comes with, and it's, this is almost kind of showing off in a way, is he comes with a little shell box here, or ammo box, or whatever you want to call it, and it actually has one removable shell. And, let me see if I can get it in there. And that shell just goes into a little hole in there and just like that and all of this stuff can be packed up into low lights backpack which actually is a little uh, interesting new way that they've made this backpack come apart it just kind of snaps in like that and then he of course wears it on his back alright so pretty cool I mean the accessories are just out of this world one of the best figures Hasbro, G.I. Joe figures Hasbro has ever done. Probably one of the best figures, period, Hasbro has ever done. I don't know saying something. But I want to talk that lastly about Low Light, the, the articulation. Oh, and by the way, he does have a removable knife, but I'm not going to take it out because uh, I'm not worried about it right now. It's removable, trust me. And his goggles can go down over his eye to recreate the classic low light look and you can fiddle with them and get them to look more authentic um, so the articulation on this is pretty cool this vest is also removable here you can take it off but I'm not going to he's got a ball jointed head ball hinged elbow ball hinged uh, shoulder ball hinged elbow now I think yes this has the wrist articulation that the Clone Wars clones have. So this one is back and forth, and this one is, or this one is side to side, and this one is back and forth. And that's going to help him, of course, hold his rifle. He has a. Um, let me see. He's got a ball hinged torso. He's got ball hinged. Uh, hips, double ball hinge Joe uh, knee, and ankle, ball hinged ankles. So, just a fantastic figure, well worth the wait, and um, the definitive low light figure of all time, in my opinion, and just, just a, I really think has set the bar high for any figure line uh, and I'm so happy to have him and lastly he does come with a stand that uh, you could kind of see before and I'm gonna put him back on it and that's gonna do it for this review I highly recommend it you see him don't hesitate pick him up because probably um, it's gonna fly right off the pegs. I know last night when I got mine, there was three when I got to the store. Of course, I grabbed one for myself, and then that was last night at around dinner time. And then I went back to the store this afternoon at around two o'clock, and I was trying to help my son pick up one, and the other two had already been taken. So we're gonna have to keep our eyes out for another one for him. So definitely, if you see him and you're wanting this figure, get it. And don't wait, because uh, you never know if you're going to be able to see it again. So that's going to do it for this review. And thank you for watching. Feel free to like. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to comment. And until next time, uh, yo, Joe. Bye-bye.